just identify some of the most obvious parallels between mass incarceration and Jim Crow. The first and most obvious is denial of the right to vote. 48 states in the District of Columbia deny prisoners the right to vote. That's not true in most other Western democracies, which allow prisoners the right to vote, actually have voting drives in prison. But here in the United States, we take democracy a little less seriously, and we deny the right to vote even after you've been released from prison. For a period of years, or in some states, your entire life. Exclusion from jury service. If you're granted a felon, you are deemed ineligible for jury service for the rest of your life. All white juries have been having a roaring comeback in many parts of the country because such a large percentage of the African American community has been branded felons or criminals. And if you've ever even had a negative experience with law enforcement, you can be struck from a jury for cause. Employment discrimination, absolutely routine. Every application, virtually every application's got that box you gotta check. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Doesn't matter if your felony happened four weeks ago or 45 years ago. For the rest of your life, you gotta check that box knowing your application's going straight to the trash. Housing discrimination, perfectly legal. In fact, when you're released from prison, you are barred from public housing for a minimum of five years. And your family, if they live in public housing or have vouchers, they risk eviction. Just letting their son, their baby's daddy, their husband come home. Risk eviction. And public housing authorities are encouraged to discriminate against people with criminal records for the rest of their lives. Public benefits, food stamps, off limits to drug offenders for the rest of their lives by federal law. Fortunately, some states have opted out of the federal food stamp ban, but thousands of people can't even get food to feed themselves because they were, what, once caught with drugs? With a joint? Can't get food stamps for the rest of your life? What are folks released from prison supposed to do? Can't get work, you're barred from housing. Food stamps may be even off limits to you. Well, apparently what we expect folks to do is to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars in fees, fines, court costs, accumulated back child support, which accrues while you're in prison. Accumulated back child support, and in a growing number of states, even the costs of your imprisonment. And then get this, if you're one of the lucky few who actually managed to get a job, up to 100% of your wages could be garnished to pay back all those fees, fines, court costs, accumulate back child support. What do we expect folks to do? I say, what is the system designed to do? 